Upward facing dog. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Very, very important pose. I will break it down for you right now. Okay. So, to start, let's bring this mat a bit closer. So, we will come into this pose from a low plank or chaturanga. So here we are in a low plank and I'll show you what it looks like. Flip the feet over and it will be on an inhale, we'll lift into an upward facing dog. Okay, and from here we'll eventually go into downward facing dog. So let's break it down. We're in low plank. If you don't know low plank, go ahead and check it out. Flip your feet over, tops of your feet on the floor, then on an inhale, press your hands into the floor, lift yourself off the floor. Now eventually the only things touching the floor, tops of your feet and your hands. Okay? To start though, this takes a lot of strength, uh, new muscles you may not have used before unless you've been um, doing yoga for a while. So it's okay to start with your legs on the floor but don't crunch your lower back. You wanna, if you feel your lower back crunching, that's not the pose, okay? So, low plank, flip your feet, upward facing dog. Now, what am I doing here? Uh, I will show you. So, a tendency is to have shoulders by the ears. A tendency is shoulders by the ears. This is not right. Instead, shoulders roll down the back, so squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then press the floor away. So, if shoulders are by the ears, squeeze them behind your back. I'll show you from this angle. If shoulders are by the ears, squeeze them, and then press the floor away. Okay, so that's very important. You have to use your arm strength to press the floor away. This does take a good amount of strength of the arms, and also of the quads. I'll tell you why, because your quadriceps are what's keeping your legs off the floor. Because if I don't engage these muscles, my knees rest on the floor. The moment I press the tops of my feet into the floor, my legs lift. So make sure you're engaging your tops of your legs, which will elevate your legs off the floor. Okay, another thing to note, is especially for guys, guys, and mostly guys, you're watching this, very rounded shoulders. It's very, very common. I used to be that way, I used to be that way too. So it, it sort of looks like this. This is it, you know? And as we build flexibility in the back, which you will, if you continue to uh, watch these videos, then it becomes more of a natural arch in the back, and your shoulders can squeeze down your back, so they're not all scrunched up by your ears. Now, if you work out a lot in the gym, pulling your shoulders back, having that opening in your chest is gonna be extremely, extremely challenging. But this is what, that is what this pose will help you do. This pose will help you open your chest, squeeze your shoulders, build the strength in your arms to press the floor away. Now, my arms are right by my side, because remember, low plank, arms stay right by the side. They're not out here. See my elbows? They're not out here. They're right here. Right by my side. Strong, looking forward, pressing through your thumb and index finger. Again, you can check your shoulders. Up by the ears, roll, squeeze them back. Then, press your hands into the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath in. And out. One more inhale. Exhale it out. And that is Upward Facing Dog. Give it a try, see how it works for you. Wherever you're at, wherever your flexibility of your back is, just start slow, just feel into your back, feel your shoulders rolling down your spine, arms are strong, pressing into the floor. This is a big strengthener, a big opener of the chest. It's a phenomenal pose, and give it a try.